Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Ann Ridden, and today I am experimenting and making up a brand new recipe for you. Let's call them rainbow unicorn apple pies. They even have custard in the center, but I'll show you that later. To make these colorful desserts, you'll need flour and butter. Melt the butter in the microwave and pour it into the flour and mix it together. Once your mixture looks crumbly like this, use your hands to squeeze it together and knead it lightly until it forms a ball. Split your dough into eight portions and flatten one of them on some plastic wrap and then add some gel food coloring. And you wanna knead that into the dough and obviously I'm using the plastic wrap to stop the coloring from going all over my fingers and the counter. Color the rest of your dough in the same way with whatever colors you like. The purple food color turned out gross. It looks gray, so I think I'll leave that one out. Take a square of puff pastry and then cut that in half to make two rectangles. Add a snake of your yellow dough on a diagonal and then add your other colors alongside so that you have stripes of color. Now take the other piece of puff pastry and place it on the top and seal all around the edges. And you want to try and avoid any big air pockets, so make sure it's sitting flat. Use your rolling pin to roll out the rectangle lengthwise. You only want to roll in this one direction. You don't want to make it wider, just longer. Trim off one edge to make it straight and then start to roll it in. Now it should really be on quite a definite angle. You're not rolling it straight. You want to make it even longer so you end up with this crazy long snake of pastry. Take your rolling pin and again roll it out lengthwise just to flatten it. And now it should be getting really, really long. It's a bit hard to film. And then rub some water on top and roll that up so that you end up with a coil like this. Carefully cut it in half using a sharp knife. And how amazing do those colors look? I love it. Now you can vary how it looks by varying how you arrange your colored dough. So let's try a double rainbow on this one. Double rainbow all the way across the sky. <laughs> do you remember that double rainbow video? <laughs> What does this mean? Roll that up and then cut it open. It's so beautiful. Now you can wrap those discs in plastic wrap until you're ready to use them. For the custard filling, you need egg yolks, sugar, milk, vanilla, cornstarch and butter. Add the sugar to the yolks and whisk that together and then add in the cornstarch as well and whisk it in. Then add the rest of your ingredients and mix those together too. The reason why we mixed the cornstarch, the sugar and the egg yolks together first and didn't just dump it all in together is that way you make sure you don't get any lumps of corn flour. It's all evenly mixed through. Heat that over high heat and stir it the whole time. Don't walk away and continue to stir until the mixture bubbles and boils and keep stirring that for another 30 seconds or so. Then take it off the heat to cool. Peel your apples. I always like to try and peel it in one long squiggly piece of skin. You don't really need to, but it's fun to try. Using a knife, make four cuts around the core and then push the core out of the apple. Pipe the custard that we just made inside and then take one of your discs of pastry, add a little flour underneath and on top and roll it out towards the edges so that you make a nice colorful circle of pastry. Take that and place it over your apple and wrap it around, tucking it underneath, just bringing those edges together and squeezing them to seal that apple and custard inside. Repeat that with another one. Now the colored dough that we made will give you enough to do about eight of these apples. So if you don't need to do that many, you could always freeze the extra dough. Just make the discs and freeze them for later, depending how many people you're serving. They look so good when you roll them out and wrap that one around the apple too. Now, if you prefer, you can leave the skin on your apple. That will make it a little bit healthier because you get the fiber from the skin too. And these make a completely contained apple pie, really. You've got the pastry and the apple and your custard all in the middle. And then you just need to bake those in the oven. 
And while they're baking, I want to give a special shout out to India, who has one of my How to Cook That hoodies. And she also made the giant magnum for her birthday party. Happy 16th, India. I hope you had a great time. They're looking good now. The pastry is looking like it's cooked, so we'll take those out of the oven. What a cute looking dessert. And they smell so good too. Let's have a look what they look like on the inside. Yum, look at that custard and the apple and the flaky pastry, perfect. Click here to subscribe and remember to turn on the notification bell, otherwise subscribing doesn't really do anything. Click here for more desserts, here for chocolate and here for my latest video. Make it a great week by doing something kind for someone else and I'll see you on Friday.